brothers and sisters. We're on this road to West Cliff. I don't know if you can tell on the video or not. It's uphill, like I said. It's uphill both ways against the wind. You say, well, that's not possible. Jump on this bicycle and see if it's not possible. There's the wet mountains. It uh, looks like the clouds are starting to pull in. I don't know what that means exactly. I hate to be out here in the middle of nowhere and get a storm hit us, but it kind of is what it is at this point. Thank you for watching. Hello again, brothers and sisters. We're riding down the road here. That's Mary up ahead on the e-bike. Nico's in, in the backpack. There's the mountains again. And here's the clouds. I'm pretty sure I just felt a raindrop. I hope it was, my, was just my own spit, but I'm afraid it's probably not. But uh, we got halfway to West Cliff and we stopped and tried to make a decision twice whether we should turn back or not. And I think we're gonna go ahead with it. Thank you for watching. Okay, brothers and sisters, am I lying about going against the wind? Look at that flag. What's that flag doing? Blowing against us. I'm having trouble seeing it. There it is, okay. It's kind of bright out here. A lot of snow up on the mountains. This is storage area right before we get to West Cliff. And yes, I'm sucking air. <laughs> you, you think you can ride this bike without sucking air? You're welcome to try. I'm sure some of you are a lot better than I am, but... I'm not sucking air. <laughs> Mary's not sucking air, but she's sucking electricity. She's starting to get panicky about her electricity running out. <laughs> <laughs> Just like everybody else has got the e-cars. They're always worried about running out of electricity. Well, that's what happens when you have something you plug in. All right, thank you for watching. It's a neat little store. Check it out. What I'm concerned about is this over here. Look at those clouds. We're uh... okay, brothers and sisters. This is this is old school collection of aluminum cans, cardboard. I guess that's still cardboard over there in steel cans. Tell me that ain't old school. This is West Cliff. This, there's the, the wet mountains over there. There's some snow on the top. And here comes a storm that's chasing us. I don't think that we're gonna be out run it. Uh, not on a motorcycle. As I said, it's uphill both ways against the wind. And there's another storm right there. We're going this direction right there. And it's looking fairly clear the direction we're heading. Thank you for watching. Well, Ladies and gentlemen, this is a house for sale up in West Cliff. Uh, there's a picture of it right there. There's, it looks like a pretty nice house. It's got a sold house and such on it. Uh, I guess the price is. I've got the price in my hand right here. Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Chuck again. Uh, we made it back from the bicycle ride to West Cliff. Uh, uh, did you, could you guess what uh, the amount of that property was on feud? Well, here's the paperwork on it. It says, it price reduced now $399.99. And that's probably 99 cents, I would have to assume. But uh, it's, um, it's only one bath, one bath, three-quarters of a bathroom, one three-quarters of a bathroom, one bedroom, that's uh, 11 acres, um, it's 1,200 square feet garage, it's, it's got a big garage, it's, that's kind of cool, big garage, garage is right there, uh oh, wind just blew it, um, I don't know, I think it's a little pricey for what it is but that's me you, you can 
pause that and you can read all that if you like. But I don't know what it was originally priced was. Um, I can't, maybe it's stuck underneath this price reduction. I don't know. Oh well, okay. Well, that's that's the key. There, there it is. Four hundred thousand dollars. Thank you for watching. Hello, brother and sister. The next day, uh, charging the e bike off the grid, and it's been going from ten o'clock this morning until uh, it's about one fifteen. So that's three and a, three hours and fifteen minutes, and it's not showing. The light's still red. When it's supposed to be fully charged, it's supposed to turn green. Uh, this is what's called a, a, kilo, a kilowatt, and it tells you how much voltage you're using and how much wattage with the different switches. Right now, I got it on wattage, and it's pulling 114 watts, 117 watts. Uh, most of the time it's pulling only 108 or 104 watts, but uh, we can easily charge this this e-bike. This first time we charged the e-bike off the uh, off the motorhome, off the grid, and uh, we look up here on the speedometer. It's showing right there. I'll get the camera correctly. The voltage is 52.3 volts get right here 53.3 volts which is a 48 volt battery it should be totally charged uh, the energy bar is full uh, they say you don't really need to go by that energy bar it's not accurate but uh, that voltage meter is accurate and so it's a 48 volt battery which is inside here and it's plugged into it it should be fully charged but uh, yet, the battery charger is still showing red. So I don't know if I should leave it, still leave it or not. But uh, it's fully charged in about three hours. Thank you for watching. Girl. Hello again, this is Chuck. We have uh, been uh, charging this thing since from 10 o'clock. It's now 3.30. And it finally went to the green. Uh, it shows it only taken in. Just a few watts, eight, ten, six watts, something in that vicinity. I'm gonna see what the voltage says on the speedometer. Turn the key on, come up here, turn the switch on, hit the key another time, one more time. All right, it says it's 54.6 volts. That must be fully charged. Thank you for watching.